Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Wild Breakaway with Wes Walls. I'm Audra Martin. It's hard to believe that here we are December 15th and tonight was the first time the Chicago Blackhawks and the Minnesota Wild went head to head. Unfortunately for the Wild, game one goes to the home team. The Chicago Blackhawks take this one 5-3, to three, a game that was pretty evenly matched throughout, but then it's all about Patrick Kane tonight for Chicago as he gets his eighth career hat trick. Yeah, he's been, been a pain in the butt for the yeah. Wild for many, many years. And uh, um, he was outstanding here again tonight. Um, I, you know, the years of the dynasty, I think, are, are over with the Chicago Blackhawks. Some of their players are getting a little older. Duncan Keith, Seabrook. Kane and Taves are still 31-32. They've got some uh, tread uh, on the tires. But uh, Corey Crawford uh, didn't play tonight. But uh, um, they, were, they, were, they were good tonight. I mean, I thought it was an, a really entertaining game. We said in the second intermission it was going to be a bounce here or there. Both teams have played four games in six nights. Um, the, the Chicago Blackhawks got the bounce, but generally speaking, overall, I thought the Minnesota Wild, even though they lost the game tonight, they came ready to play. I know they were they were down to nothing, um, but they came ready to play. The Chicago Blackhawks got a few bounces, and uh, again with Eric Sinek out of the lineup, Miko Koivu, uh, Jared Spurgeon, there was still a lot of jump in that lineup. Uh, so hopefully, and they didn't get the two points, but they should feel good uh, about how they played here tonight and take that into the last two games of this trip. Yep. Well, here's a look at tonight's final stats. Again, a pretty evenly matched game between these two. Except for when it comes to the faceoff circle. When you're talking special teams for Minnesota, great to see them snap a six game drought as they get a power play goal tonight, thanks to Eric Stahl. This one snaps a four game skid for the Chicago Blackhawks. The Wild now 7 2 and 1 in their last 10. Two goals from Kevin Fiala, one from Eric Stahl that happened to also be career point number 1,000. Just a really impressive milestone for a guy who continues to be a huge asset for Minnesota. A hundred percent. Him doing that, uh, a thousand points in any league, I know how tough it is. And uh, um, But without fanfare, just goes out and does it and does it and does it. And, you know, he's getting points at a rate now that, uh, you know, probably belie his age uh, a little bit. Uh, um, but it's something we need from him. Now the road trip will continue Tuesday night as the Wild head to Sin City to take on the Vegas Golden Knights, a very team they are chasing in the standings. It's a late putt puck drop so join us at 8:30 for wild live the vegas golden knights uh not the same team we've seen over the last couple of years but still a really tough opponent and when it comes to the wild they seem to enjoy playing in vegas they're a perfect three and oh when playing in front of their home crowd yeah anytime uh you go out in the road or on an extended trip you always want to try to get those two points to get that that good solid feeling but uh, the, the wild were not unable to to come up with those those points and uh um, as, as you mentioned, they've had some success there. Jason Zucker is from there. He's been able to score a few goals. And uh, again, two more road games before the Minnesota Wild have an opportunity to come home and play. I believe it's, is it 18 or 22? Yeah. Something unheard of. And, and that's not going to be easy, mm -hmm. too. Obviously, it's going to be nice to be home, but playing at home for that long um, is, is, is not as easy as everyone thinks here, too. So um, it'll be interesting to see how the rest of this trip plays out. But uh, and again, congratulations to Eric Stahl. Had a chance to. Uh, play a couple rounds of golf with him over the last uh, couple years during the summer uh, before he goes back. I got the chance to know him a little bit. Just a, a true, true gentleman yeah. and a class act. And uh, uh, what a find by Chuck Fletcher to go out and sign him a few years ago, yeah. um, averaging 31 goals a year. and. 35 years old, still playing like he's 25. He's got some tread on the tire, Audra. Yep, and now he's in the history books, the record books. He's just the 89th player in NHL history to hit that 1,000 career point mark. So, again, we tip our caps to you, Mr. Yep. Stahl. Nice game here tonight. Unfortunately, it comes in a loss for the Wild. They fall 5-3 to three to the Chicago Blackhawks. We appreciate you joining us tonight on Wild Breakaway. For West Walls, I'm Audra Martin. We'll see you next time.